If you think that I'ma cry down, sit your ass down. I got stuff I never had now. I could brag now. Yeah, All my niggas they gon' spaz out. They don't bag down. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy J Man Flow, aka Mr. So let's get us go. Bringing y'all a tip video for Madden 18. Wait one sec. Y'all like, Jamie, how you gonna do a tip video for Madden 18 and Madden 18 didn't even come out yet? I'm gonna explain in a minute. I'm gonna just tell y'all tips that will, I guarantee y'all these tips will make you a better player in Madden 18. Like, I would not BS y'all. But let's try to get this video to 3,000 likes and I need everybody to destroy that like button. Because the more y'all like the video, the more it pops up in recommended sections. And I need everybody. I mean everybody. I need we we need everybody to know about these because I just need to help everybody out as much as possible because this will like if you already most of the people like who's on Twitch or like all the most of the competitive people I don't know how many people watching me you know what I'm saying but if you already know what you're doing and you know what I'm about to say then you good I'm talking to all my people who like you know what I'm saying my mediocre man players my people who want to be better or my people who's better and want to get a lot better you know what I'm saying. But basically, let's break it down. Like I said, 2,000 likes. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I want to thank y'all. This was my first year ever. You know what I'm saying? First first year playing Madden on my YouTube channel. It's my first. I only have my YouTube channel for not even. I haven't even had my YouTube channel for a year yet. We about to hit 80,000 subscribers. We want to say thank you to all y'all. Road to 100K still going on. So be sure to destroy that sub button. But let's get into it. Five things you can do. Five tips you can do right now. Right now. You can do these right now to make, be a better Madden 18 player. Let's get into it. Number one, stop using ball hawk. You know what I'm, y all, y all know what I'm talking about. So if y'all don't know, in Madden 18, coming out, uh, they said you will no longer be able to hold Y from the start of a play and run around holding Y. Like just, you know what I'm saying? Because people with no user skills, they just hold Y and they run around and then they might get an animation for a pick. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that in Madden 18 no more. Now, me personally, I have never used that feature. I didn't even know you can run around and hold Y the whole time until like four weeks ago. Somebody told me. I always hold Y right before they throw it, or I think they're about to throw it. I'll, that's when I start holding Y. Like, I'm like, okay, oh, oh, I'm chasing the slant. As soon as I see him cock back, I start holding Y. But I didn't even know you can hold Y the whole play. But right now, you can stop. Like, you can still play Madden 17 and just stop. don't hold Y. Like, if you one of them people who just hold Y the whole play, just stop. Try to hold Y right before he throws it because you will no longer be able to hold Y the whole play. So, like I said, why would you just keep putting yourself in a habit? You know what I'm saying? You can't put yourself, all, just break all these bad habits. You know what I'm saying? It takes 20 days to break a habit. It's July 4th right now. So, you have 30 days to get yourself met ready and mentally prepared for Madden 18. You know what I'm saying? So, if you want to know people out there who runs around holding Y, all you got to do is like every time you play Madden 17 now, just stop doing that. Get yourself out that habit. It will help you. Because now I think if you try to hold Y from the start of the play, you jump. You know what I'm saying? Madden 18, you jump. You know what I'm saying? If you as soon as that, as soon as they press hike and you start holding Y, you will jump. So all y'all, I don't want y'all looking foolish. I don't want y'all boys out there looking foolish. Like just jumping around because y'all hold Y. So get yourself out that habit. Which brings me to my another point. Number two. Like I said, all these tips you can do right now. You're, you used to have a month left to play, month and a half left to play Madden 17. You can get yourself out that habit right now. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't have to just if you're playing someone, just stop holding ball hawk the whole time. Just hold it right before they throw it, and boom! In 30 days, you won't be in that habit anymore, and you'll be ready. Number two, cross manning. You will no longer be able to cross man in Madden 18. But let me show this. People, people like are like, yo, what do you mean you can't cross man? Here is the rule for Madden 18. You cannot man up somebody from the left half to the left hash of the field you just can't man up people from opposite hashes if you don't know what a hash mark is basically it's those hash marks on a football field here's the field and it's hash marks boom you got hash mark if you have a cornerback who's on the left hash of the field like this boom and you have receivers over here boom you cannot man them up you can still man up a linebacker like say, say there's a linebacker in the middle of the field you can still man up a linebacker on receivers to that side so in a way technically i mean he's still crossed man but he just man up probably like the linebackers in the middle of the field so you can man him up on somebody you know what i'm saying whatever but you can't man up somebody from the left hash of the field across the the hash that's what they said so you can't man up across hashes no more you can't do that so if you somebody who cross mans across hashes in madden 17 right now or madden 17 right now yeah if you do that madden 17 now like cross man you can cross man in this game now 
That's why, and that brings me to a lot of people like, J-Man, why are you running dollar all the time now? You used to run 3-4-I, you used to run all these blitzes. And I stopped because a lot of people who runs nickel blitz and stuff, they cross man. You a man up, you a run nickel blitz, you a cross man, a linebacker. From the, you know, from the other, from the right hash, you can cross man him on somebody all the way to the left. You know what I'm saying? And that's why these blitzes are so effective. Because you can literally, because when somebody, because the best way, okay, he's blitzing everybody from this side. So I can just throw a slant, right? No, not in Madden 17. When you, when you do that, you cross man a linebacker on that guy. So when he tries to run a slant, the linebacker sprints. From the right hash of the field all the way to the other side to stop that slant route. So that's why they're taking out the game because they think it's just, you know what I'm saying? Because you shouldn't be able to run full speed at somebody and then be able to keep up with them. Like, this should never happen. Like, if y'all running full speed at each other like this, that should never happen. He should run right by you because it's your momentum. You should not be able to stop on a dime and still keep up with a 96 speed receiver. It just, should, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I run dollar all the time now. So in dollar now, I'm man, like, I run. I don't be cross man no more. Like the last time I cross man somebody across the field was like literally probably three weeks ago because I'm getting myself out that habit. I'm starting to man people up either head on or I'm manning my linebackers up on a slot receiver or like or I just blitz my cornerbacks out of dollars. So that's why I get myself out that habit because why would I keep myself in a habit if it's not gonna be a man 18? So that's number three. We were talking about ball hawk, we talk about cross manning, swerving. If you somebody out there who swerves. Stop swerving, you know what I'm saying? So that, that these are things y'all can do right now. Like I said, I'm gonna keep saying this. You can stop cross man it. Now, and it's like, but well, we don't have Madden 18, so technically it's not a tip. It is a tip. Because when the the, the, the the day Madden 18 comes out, you won't be cross manning. You won't be holding ball hawk. Which brings me to my other point, concepts. That's number three. Concepts, concept, concept, concepts. Because everybody else, guys. They gonna be come out. They gonna be trying to cross man. They gonna be trying to uh. They gonna be trying to do all this. They gonna be. They just gonna be trying to hold ball. They are gonna be trying to do everything that was good in Madden 17. And y'all already gonna be out that habit. Concepts. Learn concepts. Stop money plays. Stop doing money plays. Any Madden 17 money play, you know, get it out your head. There's no point in. You know what I'm saying? I, that's why at this point I just play Madden 17 for fun. I don't even. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't really upload tips. Or money plays no more. It's no point. These money plays will all be pointless in a month. And if you get yourself used to doing a bunch of money plays, when Mad 18 comes out, you won't know concepts. And that's my biggest thing. Learn concepts. Learn flood concepts. Learn high-low concepts. Level concepts. Concepts, because like guys, football has been played for over a hundred years. So if you know concepts and you know football, when Mad 8 the first week, first month Mad 18 comes out, it's gonna come down to who knows concepts? Like a flood concept, for instance, you have a flat, you have a uh, medium route, like a, a C route, or you got a corner route, then you got a deep route. No matter what Madden you play, that concept will always work. If they play a hard flat, you throw it to the corner route. If they play a purple, you throw it to the flat route. You know what I'm saying? That will always work in every Madden. So if you get used to playing, if you're playing Madden 17 right now, Look, just play with more concepts. I know money plays are fun to use. You know, they got, we got all these new 99 players. But every now and then, just try to, you know what I'm saying, or go to the practice mode. Learn more concepts. Or go by play type and look at the different concepts. You got flood concepts. You got vertical concepts. It's so many concepts out there. And if you learn how to use them, which is which every everything a good Madden player does comes from concepts. So, like, it, like you know my PA shot team by the tight offset works so well. You got that high pass, right? And if you pit somebody on the M route, here's what I do in PHI scenes. I run, I run that high pass to the tight end, and I pit the receiver right next to him. I pit him on a on a five yard in route. So if he chases that high pass, I throw it to the M route. If he stays on the M route, I have I high pass it to the tight end. And that's that that's a high low concept. You know what I'm saying? No, no, that's a levels concept. You you make them choose one. You know what I'm saying? No matter what Madden you play, that will always work. So learn how to use route combos and concepts. Get better with that. Stop the money plays. Stop the swerving. Swerving will not be in Madden 18, so stop it. You know what I'm saying? Just if you are, if you somebody out there that swerves, just just stop and just learn how to use route combos in a bunch of freaking uh, concepts. Because once Madden 18 comes out, those same concepts will still work. They're gonna work in Pee Wee football. They work in high school football, middle school football, college football, the NFL. No matter what football in real life video game, those concepts will always work. So the more you know about those, the better you will be in any football game. So we talk about that. All right. So we talk about ball hawk. Uh, we talk about ball hawk. Did we talk about what else? We talk about ball hawk concepts. 
I think we talked about the three things, and there's one thing I want to talk about. Number four, adjustments, adjustments, adjustments. No matter what Madden you play, adjustments on defense will probably always be the most important, uh, you know what I'm saying, the most important thing in Madden. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're on defense, you know what I'm saying, you see the best players in the world. Like, you look at Skimbo or you watch Joe play. You watch any of those players play, you know what I'm saying, they're just using, you know what I'm saying, they're, they all their adjustments are just literally, literally on point most of the time. And that's because... Because they practice that, you know what I'm saying? So the best thing y'all can do in every mat, and there will always be adjustments. So I would tell y'all the best thing y'all can do right now, like, is stop depending on blitzes, because these blitzes will be pointless in, in 30 days. In 30 days, all the blitzes, like, let people come out, you know what I'm saying, beat they meat and run nickel blitz every play. Like, let them keep doing it. Let them keep doing it. They have 30 days to boost their ego a little bit. Let them keep doing it. Because once Madden 18 comes out and they can't do that no more, a lot of people who do run nickel blitz, like the good competitive players, they know how to make adjustments behind it. But there's a lot of people who just, the, oh, nickel blitz is an OP blitz. I'm going to just run it. No adjustments. Now, a lot of people do that, and they can, some of them can get away with it and just let them. Because when Madden 18 comes out and they don't have a blitz, I guarantee you, ask them to wager you or ask them to play you, they're going to say no because they don't know what they're doing. So, best thing, that's why every, like last year when, when Nanos was in Madden 16, as soon as they said nano detection will be in Madden 17, I stopped running Mike Scrape. I stopped running all the nanos I ran. I stopped. I went straight to dollar and I start adjusting. I start learning how to make adjustments. Because in Madden 16, I'll admit, all I did was run uh all I did was run Mike Scrape and I ran crossfire. I, and I and Mike Scrape, you know, you're 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 blitzing six, seven people. You didn't have to make no adjustments. It was an unslidable A gap. So all I would do is do the blitz, boom. That's all I do. Like, that, that, that literally all I do, I get the A-gap. Oh, yeah, I'm so good. As soon as they said Madden 17 will have nano detection, I went my ass straight to dollar <laughs> and start running DB fire. And I start, okay, okay, this is how you make adjustments. Then I, that's when I learned quick adjustments. I learned how to use my buttons. And that's when Madden 18, so when Madden 17 come out, people were like, yo, how do you quick adjust so fast? That because in Madden 16, once they said nano detection was coming, I took my ass to dollar. You know what I'm saying? I learned everything because I knew there would be no more nanos, so adjustments would be even more important in this game. So, and then a lot of people who used to run Crossfire, not Mike Scrape, when Madden 17 came out, they were still literally trying to run Crossfire and Mike Scrape, but there was they, they wasn't working. They didn't know what they're doing. A lot of people who was like decent that I used to play with in Madden 16 like disappeared. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to make adjustments. If you don't know how to quick adjust, learn how to quick adjust. Literally, you double tap Y or you double tap RB or LB, you know what I'm saying? Y'all need to learn that stuff. Like, y'all, if y'all don't know, you have, like, this is what I'm telling y'all. These are things y'all can do right now. You can learn how to make quick adjustments. Quick adjustments will be in Madden 18. If you learn all these things, I promise y'all, when Madden 18 comes out, I would not lie to y'all. When it comes out, you will be, you won't be, the, I'm not saying y'all will be the best in the world, but you won't be lost because a lot of people are going to be lost and you don't want to be lost. I promise y'all. You're like, comment down below if you were lost in this Madden. Like, be honest. I was, when was I lost? Madden 16, I was lost. And then I said, make sure y'all learn how to quick adjust. With the adjustments, though, it's all up to you. It's literally just learning. Y'all like, Jamie, how do you adjust? It's literally up to you. Once you learn how to pit, like, use quick adjustments and learn what zones or how to pit people in zones real fast, it's literally, okay, he ran a flat. He, he threw it to the flat last play. Let me take that away. Pit that guy in purple. Man, him up. Do that, do that. It's literally, you will get better. You will you will get better. Like, when I first started quick adjustments, I was lost. But now, I've been doing it for a while. Like, y'all see me. I, I can do it. You know what I'm saying? I can just outsmart or outthink somebody. That's what you want to do. And last but not least, I tried to not to make this long video, so I'm sorry. Please, 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 please always keep up with the present and never fall behind. That is my last tip I can give you. That is probably the most important tip, guys, because I'm going to I'm gonna let you guys know something. And, and let me know if I'm right. Like, let me know if I'm right, if y'all feel the same way. There's two things you can do when a popular offense or popular defense or a popular blitz or when something first comes out, guys. There's two things you can do, you know what I'm saying? There's always two things you can do. Like Nickel Blitz came out, it was two things you can do. You can either complain and whine for the next eight months about it, or you can learn how to beat it and get better. That's it. That, let me know if y'all agree with that in the comment section. And it's literally, it's two people in this world, bro. When Nickel Blitz first started becoming popular, or when Gun Bunch Week first started becoming popular, when everybody started running Power O, it's two people. You can either say, yo, this game is cheese. All you do is exploit the game. Yo, this is this. This is that. 
You can either complain about it and not try to stop it or learn how to stop it and just keep whining for eight months. I'm going to let y'all know, guys, whining will do nothing. Or you can hit up your friend or learn how to stop it. YouTube, there's millions of videos out there every day on YouTube. All you got to do is be like, look, YouTube, look, how to stop nigga blitz, how to block nigga blitz, how to do this. But, it, or is it, like I said, then there's the people who look it up, figure out how to stop it, hit up your friend. Yo, gum, th this play is becoming real popular. Everybody started running this formation, yo. Let's figure out how to stop it. Let's get into a game and let's figure out how to stop it. And y'all can figure out how to slow it down. Learn what works. Try different things. Okay, so then y'all always keeping up with the present. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I'm going to let y'all know if y'all fall behind. If y'all fall behind, I'm not lying to y'all guys. If you ever fall behind, it's going to it's gonna be hard to catch up. A lot of people fell behind when Nickel Blitz came out. All they did was complain about it. And they didn't want to figure out how to stop it. And then now, all they're doing is still complaining because they can't stop it. So, that's my last tip to y'all, Madden 18. When a, new, when a new offense comes out, a new defense comes out, don't be that guy who just whines about it for the next, the next eight months. Figure out how to stop it. Figure out how to beat it because there's always a way, y'all. y'all. And this is digital computer code, guys. There's always going to be a way to stop something. You know what I'm saying? There's always gonna be a, like just like there's always gonna be a way to exploit the game. There's always gonna be a counter to it. You just gotta find it. You know what I'm saying? Just don't complain about it. You know, you can say like, "Dang, that's a cheesy blitz," but okay, now let me forget how to stop it. Don't whine for eight months because there's people out there who will whine about it for eight months, and it's like, bro, you've been whining for eight months. You could figure out how to stop it. Like people complain about uh, nickel blitz. What happened when nickel blitz came out? I was like, "Dang, that's a cheesy ass blitz." Like, like, damn, that's the OP blitz. But what did I do? Okay, I went to gun split realm. I said, okay, if I block my tight end and I pinch my line, that should block it. And I learned how to block it, and that's why I started dotting people up out of it. I learned, okay, if I run power O to the right side of nigga blitz, that's OP. So that's why I started doing all the gun split realm. Start running that power O out of shotgun. And boom, just like that. So it's like I said, it's always two roads you can take, but don't take that road to be on, like, winding, bro, because... What's gonna happen, you're gonna fall behind, you're not gonna be as good, you're just gonna be stubborn, you're gonna start complaining about the game, and you're just not gonna be good at the game, you know what I'm saying? So always keep up with the present and don't fall behind the past. That's my last tip, y'all. I hope this video was not too long, but I'm telling y'all, y'all follow those five things. Those five things, I guarantee y'all, y'all will be a hundred times better in Madden 18 than y'all were in 17. A hundred times better. It's all about keeping up with the present. You know what I'm saying? Don't fall behind. Always be willing to adjust. Learn concepts. Biggest thing I can tell y'all. But like I said, I love all y'all. Con like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. But until then, it's your boy J-Mail Flow, a.k.a. Mr. Let's Get It. Let's go.